Here we are, welcome to this game of Team Combat, commentary by Luke. The game is uh, first to 11 points. There's Flo and Luke, that's the one team, versus Jochen and Jochen, that's JJ and DJ. So here we go for the uh, for the first round. It's The game starts when everybody starts juggling, and that's when you can start attacking each other. And of course it gets very messy very quickly, but um, of course two of us there are still left juggling. And you can only win any points if, you've, if you're juggling any clubs at the end. And uh, it's not just the last person to drop, it's the last person juggling. So here's uh, Luke and uh, JJ going against each other. Um, and uh, there's some wild catches. JJ knocks the club out of my hand. He has to catch. Uh, he has to do another five catches afterwards uh, after I drop. And there he is, uh, one nil that side. And um, here we go again. Now there's, there is tactics involved here. Um, what they were doing there is two people going for one person while I sneaked around the back there. But then it's uh, just me up against JJ. One. Oh, yeah. Now, there's different styles of play here. Flo moves around a lot and does, like, big attacks. Uh, JJ is more of a um, sort of like a, an easy kind of... He just He's like a solid rock and just knocks clubs out of your hands when you don't notice. Also, he, he didn't realise that we where the camera was set up at the moment. You see, there's uh, Flo winning that one. 2-0 here. And um, I'm more of a sort of like uh, hit clubs in, in the air and also I do make a lots of uh, good catches. So if you see any catches, just I catch clubs behind my head. Over he goes. Now what happens if two people are juggling at the end of your team? You get two points and that's the way it works. So it encourages not to do um, bad attacks. So there we go. 4-1 to Luke and Flo. You can see Flo and JJ taking out each other in the corner. Flo winning. Messy attack by me, but hey, there's another two points for Flo and Luke. There we are, 6 1 ahead now. Cool. Big, big mess there, but uh, Flo came out the back unscathed, 7 1. So uh, we're quite a way ahead at the moment. This is actually the second game of these teams tonight, and uh, Flo and I won the first game, so this is actually sort of like the second of a best of two. There you go. And um, again, there's DJ and Luke taking each other out. And JJ going through with a win, 7 2. Now, when it goes down to the one on one action, is where it can get quite interesting with lots of uh, sneaky attacks, because it's easier just to knock. One person out with two people, but uh, here we go. So it's an amazing catch, sort of diving catch after the attack by uh, DJ there. Quite a cool catch. I actually caught that one behind my head then. Maybe you can zip back and see that attack and catch there. Like I say, this is a bit more of what I do. Again, made contact, but then dropped it myself. 7-3, now the score. Good play by DJ there, taking out Flo over his head, but then I run straight through. Thanks for the shot. Now what I was trying there was actually to grab the club out of uh, JJ's hand as he uh, did it, which, it, which is allowed, but of course as soon as I realised I had dropped, I did let him go. Um, oh, it gets very messy at the back there. We're just me and uh, JJ going on now. Oh, and we actually made contact at each other on, his, on each other's clubs at the same time there. So uh, what happens if, if nobody's juggling, if we just go back and uh, play that point again. So uh, still 7-4 there. And again, there I am trying to grab um, DJ's club that time. But again, I, uh, as soon as I realised I'd properly dropped and couldn't get his club, I let him go, but he'd already dropped by that time. And that's why... Um, JJ is so good at this, he doesn't even seem to put in the effort, he just goes, touches someone else and they just knocked out. Knocks the clubs out of your hand really easily. As you see, he, he, he doesn't put very much effort into it. Or it doesn't look like he's putting much effort into it. There you go, I managed to knock out DJ. But JJ, the other Jochen, is the, is the difficult one, so uh, he pretty much always beats me if it's just him and me. So he just knocks it straight out of my hand there onto the floor. Next up, 7-6, uh, here we go, next round.
see that amazing play there by JJ, even though he was sort of being attacked, he, he managed to flick his clubs around. And another cool catch by me, I must admit. There you go. I've done that attack to DJ quite a few times, getting between him and the stage and pushing through between him. He seems to lose his clubs quite a bit. So here we go. JJ's ease of uh, ease of playing, how he just sort of reaches out and grabs me with my mad catches and mad throws that I normally do. Let's see how this goes. I can't remember this point. Oh, yeah. See that? He just tapped it in my hand as I was catching it. Couldn't do anything about that at all. And we he equals the game at 7-7. Seven, seven. They're taking it back one point at a time here. Me making silly catches at the back there while the other guys take each other out. So now here we have a, a, a two-on-one situation, which means that it'll probably end in our favour. Although, I oh know. JJ took out uh, Flo there at the back. Again, you couldn't even see it. He does it so quickly. And some silly catches by me. Some silly attacks, another silly catch by me. <laughs> I don't really pay much that attention to that club while it's in the air, which is quite bad. We make, we're make we making contact all the time there. You see that? Di he, he hit my club and I reached out and caught it before it hit the floor, but of course he managed to get me again so quickly, which is which is where it comes into it. The tactics comes in. As soon as you knock someone, you've got to get straight in there and do it again. There's a, one of Flo's diving attacks, which I like. And that's really cool. DJ just dropped his club, and we're ahead now, nine points to eight. Now this is a game up to 11. Did I, did I mention it was a game up to 11 beforehand? So here we go. So uh, all four of us still in even. The club's going, so. So some cool catches from me, but then a drop. So there you go, two points for those guys. So they're 10, nine ahead now, and here we go, match point. See who's going to get this one. Because I should have been going in there and attacking JJ a lot quicker than I did. Anyway, JJ was knocked out in the end, so it's me and DJ. I try to go for my attack along the side of the stage again, but end up running into it, and the other guys win. So there you go. This actually equaled the game that evening, one match each, but um, Flo to go off and attend his baby, so he didn't do the decider.